Well, we're harvesting. So, uh, third time lucky this is, believe it or not, the third time I'm starting to record this episode. I got myself a new truck and a new trailer. Uh, I went down from about 11 and a half million dollars to just under 10. I uh, bought, uh, and let's, let's show you. So this is the truck that we had. Oh, where are you? So, okay. Before I show you, I am going to feed the sheep. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let it be. Now, I am going to sell one of these. And it's going to be most likely, I bought this from the uh, discount, from the used section. And I bought this little piece. Oh, it's gone into the rock. And the header that you see there, which I honestly don't know if they're compatible or not. So I'm hoping they're compatible. Uh, I'm going to have to do some of this because the way it's spawned. That's the only way that I'm going to be able to Okay, now I'm not going to bother taking it up yet You need to first unfold the header Okay, unfold the header Okay, it looks good so that's what we've spent a lot of our money on and this truck and trailer combination uh, purely because i went around not even once and i had to uh, unload three times the combo now like i said i am going to get rid of some of my equipment because it's getting to the point uh what's how much kilometers 600 horsepower 692 But, you know, we don't really need to have you there. Uh, trucks, trucks, where are you? I definitely need to get rid of one truck. We, we've got too many trucks. Uh, we'll, we'll debate on that one a bit more. Uh, what else? Do, oh, I'm going to get rid of there. And one of these. But for the life of me, I can't remember which one's which. So we're not going to get rid of them until oh, you are full again. Where is my nearest truck? So let's go have a look this way. <laughs> What's the nearest truck? They're both about the same way, isn't it? I literally should have a truck just literally just following next to it. It would probably be easier. Do not crash into anything. Yeah, so we're going to clean up our equipment a little bit uh, because I've uh, started to hit a bit of cash. I don't seem to, I just seem to buy new equipment whenever. So that's, that's a wrong attitude. After all, the point. point of what we're doing is to win a competition not win whoever has the most amount of um, of equipment no I am sort of debating whether let's have a look what sort of um, so we got a bit of straw in here So we'll let him catch up and get to uh, to full, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs>
realize that if I just leave one combine to do the work, I'll be here till the till Christmas. So we're gonna use this particular combine as well before we sell the other one. So since the other one is going that way, this one is gonna go this way type of thing. Now they're not going very fast, so you know, it's okay. But this one has a, a much higher capacity. So did it yeah, it has a much higher capacity therefore and it's got a bigger header. Therefore it should be able to give quite a bit of uh, of a hand to the other combine. Now I'm not gonna record the whole lot of me doing this because otherwise the whole episode is just gonna well the whole two episodes is just gonna be me doing this. And uh, even if I do a time lapse, it's going to be like a 20 minute time lapse. And I don't want to do that. Especially since we've got the harvest of the soybeans to come up. So I'm going to try and make an episode out of just uh, harvesting this and harvesting the soybeans in the same episode. So we'll leave them do and I'll come back uh, as we go along to see what happens. Eh? All right. So let them harvest. I think this is the downside of having such big fields. Uh, it's exactly this that you think it, it's, it looks fantastic. Uh, you know, it looks fantastic having such big fields, but not so fantastic when you've got to harvest them. And look at that. And this is my cotton. But we bought ourselves a cotton harvester, as you've seen. I will uh, uh, clean some of our equipment from here we'll get rid of it and uh, we'll take it to the sales point and sell it because i don't want to have so much equipment just laying around i mean it's just ridiculous i don't need to have uh, two wheel loaders and so on and so on so this has got to go uh, we, i've got to get to a realistic survival i mean this is millionaire survival now not that I'm complaining, it's supposed to be that way. Oh, there's, I completely forgot that I put sheep over there as well. So I better remember to bring them some grass and actually have them fed. You know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be successful if you're gonna, if you're gonna do what you do. And if you're gonna have the amount of land that you have access to, you're supposed to be successful. But I think it's just um, becoming a bit hard for me to it's becoming a bit hard for me to sort of um, keep a tap on what's going on. So because of that, I do have to start thinking about selling some of the equipment and some of the stuff that we have. Now, this one doesn't need to go back to base. So we won't be taking it back to base, but I just want to take it out of the tree. Oh, whoa, whoa. There, there you are. There's the... There is the whole building is Gonski and so is the header. Now I've not used this cotton harvester before. So honestly, I don't know how good or bad it is. Uh, but yeah, so this is, uh, I'm not sure if you've, I'm trying to remember if I've edited out me creating this field. It's quite a bit of creation. As you can see, quite a bit, the landscaping has changed. And we're just going to park you here because eventually, uh, eventually we're going to harvest the cotton. So this is where the harvester belongs for now anyway. So let's go have a look at the sheep that I created, the sheep uh, enclosure that I've created over here. Okay, we got ourselves a bit of wool, but nothing ridiculous yet so that's fine you can stay there we do need to bring food here how much oh okay so we don't really have food for them um, water we got no problems but yeah so one of our tractors gone oh you need to be unloaded again where is my nearest truck okay so let's get to Okay, that combine is doing whatever it needs to do.
So we got one full truck, so that's 250,000 liters. And we've got the other one, not full, but close enough. So we should have plenty, plenty of feed for our chickens. Which, by the way, I should go and check to see exactly how they're doing. Now let's find out where am I okay this is my other truck what do we have in this one 222,405 liters and we are gonna sell the John Deere combine if we replace it with another John Deere it will be just a different one that's all um, I have set up the worker to do this field so what i'm going to do is go and feed these chickens i don't know how much feed they will take hopefully not all of these i always forget that i don't have that on and i don't exactly know so we've got some pallets of feed there looks like it's going to take all of it by the looks of it Oh, actually, well, I don't need to sit there and wait. I can do it this way. Okay, so they have 2,000 liters capacity. Okay, so not quite all of it, but it did take quite a big chunk of it. Okay, so I will reverse it in there. Okay, we'll do this. And then I'll set up both of these trailers somewhere on the field. And that way, okay, why are you coming back down? Okay, it doesn't want to unload it. Don't tell me I've reached the capacity. Nope. Okay, let him do whatever he needs to do. Why don't I take this guy? And uh, we'll put him over there to start the, for the combine to unload. Now, I don't know how good this other combine is going to be for this unload thing. Um, because I've noticed that it's very, 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 very small um, distance between... Okay, what happens over here? Very small distance between the... Okay, that's strange. Oh, please don't do that. Yeah, well, we'll grab some as much as we need and then we'll just ignore the rest. Okay, you can stay here. Okay, so let's find out where. There you are. Okay. See, I don't know. Oh, that's what I was going to look. See if it has the self unload. Combine self unload activated. I've got like a million liters of. of um, 
over a million liters. What am I saying? I, I have about a million liters of I don't know what to do with it type of straw. So I don't know. Do I want to still collect straw? Yeah, why not? Where are we? Back down here. Let's just collect it. At the end of the day, I can collect as much or as little as I want. Okay. I did activate it, right? Oh, headlands disabled. No, don't disable. Headlands are the easiest ones to collect. Okay. Let's go and put you somewhere as well. So the combine has choices to unload wherever it wants. quite a bit of straw even on the other field I did not collect every little bit of it where is my there you are now I'm gonna have to set it up to do to plant str uh, straw <laughs> to plant wheat because as you saw it is quite hungry for wheat so we're going to have to oh, oh not grass There we are. Now, if I, s I have plenty of fertilizer, may struggle a little bit on the on the uh, seed side of things. But if it does, um, so wh what's seed worth? Let's have a look. Bags, come on. Seed seven hundred dollars for a thousand liters. So, what do we have in here? What am I doing? Got say twenty seven thousand liters. Twenty seven, so fifty thousand. So, what's that for? Seven thousand thirty five thousand dollars each seed. Okay, that way I paid for the seed, not cheating the seed in any way shape or form and uh, as you can see there's quite a lot of um, quite a lot of um, straw that I did not collect it was just getting to the point like I said I had uh, I don't know close to two million liters of straw that I collected and I thought you know what this is getting to the ridiculous side of things so I didn't collect collect the rest Okay, open, uh, make it 18 exactly, generate. It's going to take a little while to generate and then we'll stick with uh, start job. Okay, so we've got straw. Well, we got uh, exactly the right fruit that we needed. Now, I realized that I could take this combine to the... I'm trying to think if I should sell it or just... Oh, what am I doing? Find out if I want to... How much is my oh where are we combined worth eighty thousand that's probably not worth selling you know what you can stay here for now okay let's go back to not you because we'll go back to this oh oh nearly cancelled it 
Actually, no. Where is my mower? No. Um, <laughs> Enter. I might as well start getting organized because I am going to need a lot of grass. Okay, there we are. Generate. Okay, we'll let him cut it. Is it waiting for me to leave or why is it not going? Okay, I don't know. Ah, whatever. It'll, I'm sure that it will do whatever it needs to do soon enough. Okay, so it's close to full. Close to full. I wish they would do this thing where the combine that does the work that it does and when it needs to do whatever it needs to do to empty, it would just leave the header there and go and empty. Uh, but I think this episode is getting along enough, so we'll, uh, I'll let this guy do whatever he needs to do. And I'll see you in the next episode. So, thank you very much for spending some of your time with me. Have a wonderful day wherever you are around the world. God bless you and your family. And I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye.